For a long time, booster boxes were usually considered the best Pokemon investment that you can make. However, in the Scarlet and Violet era, with the Pokemon Center exclusive ETBs, they have stamped promos, which provides like a limited amount that are produced. And what we're talking about today is, are booster boxes or Pokemon Center ETBs the best possible investment that you can make? Now we're gonna use an extreme example just to start, but we have tons um, in this video, with the 151 ETBs. Uh, Pokemon Center ETBs uh, and these prices are kind of crazy. We're at 224 a box with last solds at 217 and 234 um, The stamps on the cards that come in here is kind of the reason uh, that a lot of the ETBs go up in value But with 151 It's kind of a bit of an anomaly. It's just taken off. It's so popular um, So we're not this isn't our only example and also th something to consider with specialty sets like 151 is that they do not have booster boxes, they only have ETBs. Uh, the only other equivalent is like booster bundles. Um, so we're not looking at booster bundles from the sets, we're just, we're comparing. So um, to start with this, honestly, just insane. 73% in the past three months, like massive sales. Uh, and the reason is because of this stamp right here. They have stamps on them, uh, which is kind of like first edition stamps, right? There's not a, that many made. Um, the stamp's not even that big, it's just in the bottom right right there, but it provides a rarity to the card. So the Snorlax is going for $100. Just last sold 91 and 120. There are some in, more in the 90s, though, um, for the Snorlax. So we'll take a look at, um, there's another card here, too. This is a more recent example. This is the Charmander from Obsidian Flames. Obviously, Big Gains is going for 70 bucks right now, about. 68 69 and same thing, it just has the stamp here. And this kind of rose in popularity with Stellar Crown because of the, the Bulbasaur and the Squirtle there. But um, yeah, so those uh, those have some, some big movement on them. And we're going to look at more, trust me, coming up. But uh, to start, the what they have in common so far of the ones that have taken off is that they're Gen 1 Pokemon. So Surging Sparks, the Pokemon Center ETB is still available. $60 is the MSRP, right? But what I wanted to bring up is the Magneton, okay? Um, this is a first-gen Pokemon, while not as popular, probably, as Snorlax and definitely not as Charmander. This set, we're hearing that booster boxes are, have been short-printed, um, so this set already is kind of popping off. Um, we've seen, like, the lowest you can find boxes is in, like, the 120s for booster boxes, but these are still available. You can get four at a time, and... This is a Gen 1 Pokemon, so we'll revisit that, but just keep that in mind. Gen 1 Pokemon, right? Um, but now we're going to compa compare um, Obsidian Flames. Now, this booster box has actually performed pretty well, despite the set. People not really liking the set. Um, we're at like 120 a box right now, which is which is pretty good. Um, last sales, all 121, right? Now, those are some pretty good gains, especially considering you could have gotten this box in like the high 80s, like low 90s at one point so you'd be up $30 if you got around 90 um, currently but when you start to compare to the Pokemon Center ETB the one with the Charmander right you could have got this for $60 and they're going for 133 but last solds 140 so definitely between these two sets the Pokemon Center ETBs are way outperforming the booster boxes you're over doubling your money so that's kind of wild. Um, we'll take a look at a newer set here. So this is Stellar Crown. It's tough to do this with newer sets, but we're just throwing it out there just so you guys can kind of see what's going on uh, with the market. But these are going for about 105 a box. Last sold's in the 107s though, so it looks like it's coming up a little bit for Stellar Crown. Um, then we have so the Pokemon Center uh, ETBs going for 78 right now. It looks like they kind of hit that floor. And they're just hovering around the $78 range. Um, last sold, $78.81. Um, so if you got this at $60, um, you're up a little bit uh, on that. See, this between the two, it's like, currently, I'd probably rather have the booster box, personally. But with what what needs to happen usually for the, the ETBs is they need to they need to have given more time. So there's less, because there's less printed, right? than just like booster boxes and stuff. So they, there needs to be more time for them to kind of sell out. And it's too early to be looking at this really for like long-term gains. But I mean, it is it is doing, yeah, once this chart 
like gets rid of the these high points like the pre-release sales um it'll be doing a little bit better but um yeah not the most popular of sets so although i do like silver crown um then we're gonna take a look at shrouded this is the pokemon center etb as well definitely not as popular of a set either but this is specialty set so there are no booster boxes and we're at 85 dollars although last sold 71 and 58 so not a very popular set um it wasn't that hard to see that shrouded wasn't like that popular so there's always there's always outliers and there's always like like outliers that perform well and there's kind of like the duds um a lot of times you can go off for these you can go off the promo cards and that's going to be a theme that you're going to see and it's going to be the gen 1 pokemon right so temporal you're looking at 115 114 a box um it was it's a pretty decent set 115 115 right but then we take a look at the etbs which are actually on the rise a little bit they're finally gaining some ground here 11 percent up and the 72s but most recent sales were in the 62s so it's a little hit or miss uh once again you kind of need a good promo so right here you got the iron thorns stamp i mean it's a cool card but it doesn't just have that like home run kind of uh kind of pokemon on it but yeah so that's temporal we'll look at some more sets here twilight now twilight absolutely insane with what the booster boxes are doing right 167 a box 35 percent gain in the past three months we've talked about this recently but look at these last solds 167 167 165 there was a 180 outlier over here um above msrp these are available on pokemon center for 161 once that sells out on pokemon center these could go crazy but compared to the etbs uh the booster boxes are well outperforming the etbs um even right even if we were up here in the 78s it's just not doing very good 71 but last sold it looks like it might be coming up we got 90 78 79 and 81 but yeah so dollar wise this is where the booster box is like clearly outperforming we'll take a look at another specialty set this is paldea um it's doing it's doing a little bit better recently um 76 percent up in the past month it's up 13 percent. so in the last month it's gone from 67 to 76 but most recent sales are in the 80s so paldea is starting to starting to pick up there with the the mimikyu um promo there that's a little bit more popular of a pokemon so kind of makes sense not gen 1 popular but um paradox rift is up next and i have some i got some more examples at the end that are doing better okay we're getting there we're just covering all of everything from scarlet and violet right now paradox booster boxes mm, they're doing okay at 104 um i do think that this is kind of um underrated set it has a lot of really good irs in it we've talked about this before but it's showing some steady growth it's up almost five percent in the past three months two percent in the past month and sales are looking pretty consistent at 104 105 so um it looks like it's probably going to be here for a while the etbs so there's two etbs um this one's the one that's doing a little bit better but kind of both the same not really doing very good if msrp is 60 these are at 61 last and some sales down in the 59 range but uh we're seeing 64 63 as most recent sales so maybe this is slowly coming up um paradox it looks like eh either way you're not really doing very good booster box is probably doing a little bit better um because you could have had these i mean we'll zoom out right here the booster boxes you could have had for 89 dollars. so compared to that you're you're doing a little bit much better than the the etb then we have another interesting set so this is paldea evolved and these booster boxes have been doing really well um over the three months not particularly it's on a little bit of a downside i don't think that price truly represents where it's at um it's about even over the past month we'll see the one year chart like steady growth could have had this box for 90 91 dollars but uh last solds are all in the 143 so this market price that it's showing of 135 is kind of not accurate we're at 143 now that's doing pretty good especially if you got it at 91 dollars that's some pretty solid gains but with this set the so the promo for paldea is the pikachu jumping with like all the new starters 
and these ET this ETB, it's at $118, but most recent sales at 120 and 134. So this is one where, once again, one of the strongest performing booster boxes of this era, just after Twilight, right? And we're seeing 120 sales. So that's doubling your money if you got this for $60. That's doubling. Um, the booster box would have to, like I said, if you got it at 91, or you could have got a dis distribution price in the 80 somethings, uh, but we'll use 91 as the example. You'd, you'd have to get to what? What is that, 182 to double your money? So this is a kind of an example where the Pokemon Center ETB is performing well, but Gen 1 Pokemon, very popular with Pikachu and the other starters, but it's a Pikachu card and they're just in the background. Um, oh, this is the card here. So this is another example of Near Mint going for 40 bucks, they say market price, but last sold's in the 70s, 70 and 71. So the Pokemon Center ETB from Paldea, um, this is a cool card, by the way. I do like this one. Uh, looks like this this card's probably going up. There's not that many listed on TCG. There's only 15 copies. So, yeah, this this card's probably on the way up. Um, we'll zoom out to the one year and see what it's kind of doing. Yeah, so 100, 107% gain. Could have had this card for as low as $16 um, back here without getting the uh, ETB. You could have just bought the card. So, once again, Gen 1 Pokemon, Pokemon uh, Center Stamp does very well scarlet and violet uh, these boxes are finally starting to move uh, these were cheap for a while even back here we were at 90 um, they just cracked 100 but this is kind of interesting too uh, you got some sales in like the 90s but then you had a 105 and a 130 sale so i don't know what that's about but um cracked 100 dollars. we'll zoom out to the one year could have had these for 73 dollars somebody was fire selling these in december um but yeah base set um, Scarlet and Violet. We'll compare this to the ETB. Now, the ETB, um, there's two. There's the Maridon and Caridon boxes, but um, take a look here. So, you got the Pokemon Center, the promos right here of the, the Maridon here, and then there's the Caridon for the other version, but this one is the one that's doing the best at around $90. So, if you pick this up at $60, you'd be up $30 for the booster boxes, and not everyone picked up here. We'll say you picked up around when you picked up around 90 you're only up like 10 bucks so this is where once again this is another example of the pokemon center etb uh well so sv base got a reprint so that and it's base sets usually aren't as popular got heavily printed and the pokemon center etbs don't get overprinted. they're just like initial run and then they're done limited with the stamps and everything so that's where it's kind of more like old school like first edition this, one, this is an example of it performing better without a Gen 1 Pokemon. So it's not necessarily the rule. It just really depends set by set. But overall, what we're seeing for Pokemon Center stamped or ETBs with the stamped promo is that Gen 1 Pokemon do really well. That's the most consistent thing over all of these. If there's a Gen 1 Pokemon on the promo, it does really well. So I'm bringing this back to this this box, sorry, I gotta go up here. This box. This is available for 60 bucks. It has the Magneton promo, which the artwork is done by the same artist who did the Paldea Magikarp, the Giratina from Lost Origin, okay? This, not, well, like I said, not the most popular. I'm just letting you guys know. These are available for $60. The booster boxes have been short printed. They're already selling in the 120s. I think they're like, 124 125 on tcg player right now so surging sparks is available it has a gen 1 pokemon as a limited edition stamped promo that's mainly why i'm making this video just to make you guys aware it's kind of a no-brainer play um if you get four you can get four at a time um per order so um yes in so to summarize which i've kind of already been doing a little in summary um Pokemon Center ETBs versus booster boxes. It it depends. We have for specialty sets. Specialty sets, the Pokemon Center ETB is always the way to go um, because there is no booster box. Right? And we have like 151 performing extremely well. Although I would kind of categorize 151 as an anomaly um, because not all the specialty sets are that good. It's just 151 is crazy. But then you have like 
Twilight Masquerade, where the booster box is way outperforming the Pokemon Center ETB, right? Um, it it just depends. But the, like I said, the overall takeaway is a stamped promo from a Pokemon Center ETB with a Gen 1 Pokemon will do well. That's what we've learned from this era. We can't really go back and look at uh, Sword and Shield because they're stamped. they didn't have stamped promos, um, but that would have been interesting. Uh, to see. So this is all we have to go off of, and it's still kind of early. Some of these boxes will probably do much better, even for the less popular sets, because of the exclusive exclusivity of the stamp promos. So um, some of these sets need more time to, to cook, right? But for now, and we're kind of entering like a crazy bull market. So um, Pokemon Center ETBs with the Magneton um, for Surging Sparks. Just kind of That's kind of what this video ended up being about. And I just wanted to do a little bit of a comparison. It's not a one-for-one. One. You can't always you can't always know. There's always exceptions, but um, I think the Surging Sparks one will do really well. So a very very popular set already. Um, yeah, it's crazy. We'll see where we'll see where this all ends up. Um, but that is gonna do it for this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never face.